Hey everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Northern Line. We're gonna random as usual. We got Isaac slash myself, and I'm very pleased about that because we've had some good runs lately. Uh, ah, no, okay, we've had some middling runs lately. Uh, but to a large extent, you know, we've been a slave to the random number generator. And with Isaac, you are no longer a slave, but you are the master of the RN Jesus. Considering you have the uh, D6, which you can use to reroll just about the heck anything you want. That was not proper phrasing of uh, anything that the English language has ever seen before. Let's take this pill. Uh, thank God that that was not like a health downgrade or a bad trip. Otherwise, I could have found myself dying on the cellar part one. At the very least, that would have been embarrassing. Uh, if not understandable, but in any case, let's let's make this happen. Uh, the last run, we very nearly won, but let's be honest, the fact that we very nearly won, uh, despite the fact that I played exceptionally poorly, oh man, that was really good too. Uh, despite the fact that I played exceptionally poorly, uh, was down to the fact that I brought a slot machine card down to the chest, blew it up, and all of a sudden, you know, boom bow, surprise, we had uh, Fetus in a Jar, which gave us a very slight chance to beat Blue Baby, but we died against uh, Double Super Lus, I think. Uh, so it was pretty close, but it was only pretty close because of a freak accident, okay, uh, essentially, which ended up working out fairly well for us. Hopefully, you know, with Isaac, you know, the, the law of large numbers applies, and we end up having a, a half decent run simply by virtue of re-rolling all the bad items until they become, at the very least, average items, hopefully. We'll see. I mean, the law of large numbers probably doesn't apply on the scale that we're going to be talking about here. But, that's just fine. Let me live in my own little deluded world where knowing mathematical terms gives you a uh, perfect understanding of what they actually uh, mean as well. So, Pin's gonna die very quickly here. That one should be pretty obvious. We're gonna take an HP upgrade, which I am not gonna reroll. We're definitely gonna explore the rest of the floor because everything's looking pretty good. And, you know, I didn't really talk about it, but Brother Bobby from the first item room, A okay, uh, I was gonna say Trinket. And anyway, I guess in a way it's pretty similar to like Blue Baby Soul, but, uh, yeah, a okay item to get. I'm I'm totally cool with that. Uh, not displeased at all. A little bit of extra damage. Totally solid, familiar. More keys is nice. Uh, I am gonna go to the curse room. It's a little risky because uh, it's gonna cost me some health. But actually, in the end, I guess it gave me some health there. And I could probably look for the secret room. It's a little risky, but we'll try it anyway. Ended up working out, and we did get seven more cents. Which may make the shop worth- oh, okay, well, it may make the shop worthwhile, but I kind of would rather just wait, but I'm gonna check it out anyway in case something's on sale. Okay, well, blue candle's there. Instead, though, I'm just gonna buy, uh, the key, because I can't buy blue, blue candle. Not to mention, we've had blue candle on, like, the last two or three runs, so, uh, I think it's time to give blue candle a little bit of a refractory period, and we'll just move on instead. But still, I'm glad we were able to buy a second key. Uh, to kind of compensate for the one that I went in. Basically, I sacrificed a nickel to go into the shop there. And we still have two keys, so if we get enough money, we can certainly, certainly go to the shop uh, on this floor as well. Although, you know, we'll probably need some bombs to find the secret room unless we get, like, Pageant Boy. But if we got Pageant Boy, I'd probably re-roll it. Since we are the boss straight away and we are on, you know, the easiest uh, level in the game with respect to our floors, uh, we might as well give this the old college try and see if we can get a deal with the devil, because a deal with the devil could potentially be amazing for us. It's uh, one of the few reasons I had a chance to actually win that last run was because I did manage to pick up Spirit of the Night very early. Gave me a, a nice little cushion with respect to consumables, at least to a certain extent, but also allowed me to dodge and uh, attack over cliffs and stuff like that, uh, which is great. Not really cliffs, just kind of small rock barriers. Don't tell Rocket Smile I said that, though. You might be a little bit emasculated. Uh, that was a perfect fight, basically. I do want to reroll the speed upgrade, but we'll see what we've got in here. First things first, we've got to reroll the deal with the devil. That was a terrible deal with the devil. Um, the speed upgrade may indeed end up being preferable to whatever we get in our item room. So I am going to try to look for that first. Not that I, I have any say in the matter, really. I had a feeling I would take some damage there. Also had a feeling that tonight was going to be a good night. How many times do you think someone's had, like, a really bad night after listening to tonight is going to be a good night? I always, It's a pretty dark picture, but I always imagine, like, you know, a bunch of, like, college girls getting ready to go out for a party, and they're playing this song, and they're like, tonight's going to be the best night of our lives, and then, like... 20 minutes later, well not 20 minutes, that'd be absurd, but like three hours later, you know, one of them's throwing up in the club bathroom and like velvet revolvers every time I or fall to pieces is on and they're like, whoa, what's happened in my life? I should stop living like this. I'm not saying I wish that upon people like that, I'm just saying, you know, that's a nice kind of absurd juxtaposition, isn't it? I like it anyway. If that was in a, a movie, I would be a, a fan of it. I would like it on Facebook. Uh, I would subscribe to its YouTube channel and I would uh, like the video that would inevitably be put on YouTube by a third party uh, without any affiliation to the initial studio. So we'll take our bomb here. Uh, please tell me we find our item room soon because otherwise, yeah, well this is actually perfect timing for finding, oh, so bad, perfect timing for fight it, finding the uh, item room because now we're going to be able to choose our rerolls effectively. We'll probably only get one, 
So we'll have to think about this. That's, uh, they grow inside. So I'm gonna take that. Um, this means that when we get hit, we'll spawn some flies. It's not my favorite item in the game, uh, but it, it exists, and it's passive, and it's okay. So I might consider going with that, and uh, I'll reroll the speed upgrade in hopes of getting basically literally anything else. Uh, the HP upgrade is preferable, I would say. It does give us some fuel for a deal with the devil later. And uh, still not feeling super strong, but certainly a better position than I have been in the recent past uh, at, at this point in a lot of runs. The uh, last run, the Maggie run I did, though, I might have been a little bit stronger at this point, but uh, I made some serious both tactical and like mechanical er errors uh, in my play there that caused me some genuine problems. Hopefully we can avoid those here. We are back to full health. Looks like uh, we will not have the opportunity to get a reroll ready for the shop if we even choose to go to it. I would love to get a bomb uh, on this floor, this room I guess I should say, so that I can uh, possibly find the secret room. But if I don't get a chance, that's okay. The secret room just could just give me enough money to make the shop worthwhile essentially. Uh, absolutely, in this situation it makes a lot of sense to go to the curse room I'd say. Two red chests, one of which is a troll bomb. The other one is uh, two spiders, so, you know, we sacrificed one red heart to make that happen, but that's not that bad. I think we walk into our shop and see if there's uh, something on sale half price. Oh man, I want the compass so bad, mom! Uh, we are back to full health, which is nice, but, uh, hmm. I guess we, we use our one bomb to hopefully get some good items from the secret room, if only I had not bought the key. Oh, that's so bad. If only I had not bought the key on that last floor. We would, uh, maybe have had enough money. Maybe not, though. I'm trying to think. Uh, it's a live bomb. I just thought maybe that would be a... If only I could pick up that live bomb, like a landmine in Spelunky, and then carry it through to where the secret room has to be in this situation. Uh, I guess we'll give up on our dreams of getting the compass, at least until we get to the next floor. Still doing okay. Can't really complain. Uh, it's always nice when you can afford to lose keys in a situation like that without picking anything else up. Lots of keys so far. Uh, which, to be honest with you, is actually... Oh, the worst damage. Uh, to be honest with you, is actually... Uh, probably my favorite part of this run so far. I like when the flies sacrifice themselves as well. That's really nice. Uh, it's not like I needed them to give me some much needed offensive power or anything like that. It's not like I'm relying on them to kill enemies and, uh, you know, not lose the run as well as all of the health that I have on the way to losing the run. There's another curse room, uh, assuming I don't take a staggering amount of damage here, which is actually kind of a big leap of faith that I'm asking you to take. We will probably go into the curse room just because, uh, you know, there's no reason not to, basically. I'm gonna take myself down to at least, at I guess at, at best, three hearts, which is a little scary, but, you know. This is the problem, I, I keep getting the catacombs, I, I seem to, I'm not sure if it's something to do with this build of the game, uh, or just the way that I play, or maybe just bad luck, but I've been getting an awful lot of, uh, like, alternate floors the bad way. Please be good pills. Pill one, full health, decent. Pill two, puberty, not bad. So I guess effectively we got one heart for walking into that curse room. That pays out, you know, that, that's better than not getting the heart, I guess. Those keys uh, looking me and tempting me in the face, but there's not much we can do about it right now. This is my, like, ideal room at this point. We can take out these, ah, oh, these nub generators as soon as possible, then I could probably avoid taking any more damage. Seriously, like, bad dodging, though. Star's card takes us to the... item room. We'll go there straight away. X-ray goggles, I'm not gonna re-roll. The ability to get some extra money will facilitate uh, some entry to the shop for us. And, uh, you know, finding the secret room every single time without having to use a bomb is gonna save us a lot of bombs as well. X-ray goggles, one of my favorite uh, passive items in the game that doesn't have a direct uh, effect on your attributes. Uh, I, I should probably, here's what I'm thinking. Let's re-roll what's in the shop right now. I don't necessarily need to buy the map, but uh, if we get enough money, then I, I will, because why not? Uh, but I'm not going to, so let's ignore that that even happened. The reason I uh, re-rolled the shop is just because, you know, we might as well not waste any potential re-roll charges. We might as well re-roll right away. Of course, I was really hoping that we'd get uh, the compass again. We might not get another chance to re-roll, but we might. Either way, we're probably not gonna get back to 15 cents, so I, I shouldn't worry about it too much, I suppose. We might, though. I don't know. There's another seven cents there. If only we'd been able to buy the steam sale in the first shop. That would have changed everything. We'd have um, map, compass, and steam sale right now. That's about it. That's a big change, though. Um, we are going to get one more reroll, and where we use that, I guess, depends on the kind of permutations of items that we run across here. So, this guy's real quick, which scares the bejesus out of me. But, uh, for example, if he drops Pageant Boy, maybe we don't reroll. Pageant boy, instead we take the money, go to the shop with our reroll. That was really bad. 
Uh, it's kind of surprisingly difficult to dodge, honestly. There we go. We got an Eternal Heart out of this, which is actually a huge boon for us. And I should do some more exploration, because it's possible that I might find a second secret room with a lot of red hearts. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Uh, no deal with the devil. We get a crate. Well, uh, I think it's worth re-rolling the crate for a range upgrade. Probably would have rather had the crate in this situation. We're going to go down to the next floor. Uh, but now I'll start looking for second secret rooms uh, in my exploration. So there is... Uh, regular secret room with three cents. Is it possible we may be able to indeed visit a shop at some Oh, almost walked right into that. Uh, visit a shop at some point in our uh, Binding of Isaac travels. I certainly hope so. We're going to pick up this blue pill. This is either nothing or full health, I believe. Uh, we don't know what it is. It's friends till the end. It goes well with infestation, I suppose. Uh, we have another pill, which we don't really know what it does, but we'll take it because, uh, worst case scenario, I guess it's like a health down. Range down. All right, well, that compensates for the range down that we, or range up that we picked up earlier. So I guess in the end, I actually am pretty pleased that we picked up, uh, that range upgrade. Otherwise, we would have a diminished overall range right now. The world card. It's an interesting proposition whether or not we use this straight away. I'm probably going to try to save it to help us, uh, get to, uh, to finish off an important floor more quickly in the future, as opposed to just using it here to find, I don't even know. Uh, free key is fantastic. Oh, I walked right into that one, but we'll intercept the bomb here like Ray Lewis, and then continue moving onwards. There's another shop for us, which I'm going to open, and then be like, oh, that'd be nice if I had enough money, and then never get enough money, and maybe waste a reroll. We'll see. We might actually fight greed in this one. We kind of deserve it. We've been at this for a while. Uh, yeah, it had to happen. Good news is, uh, you know, if greed actually drops a steam sale in this situation, I would be... A happy clam. That's not how to say it. Happy as a clam. Happy as a fisherman in a clam. I don't know. I'm getting all my idioms confused here. Now I feel like an idiom, I gotta say. Also feel a little bit like a nut. Oh, uh, that's not so good. Okay, we did get Steam Cell. I'm not gonna reroll it. People are gonna be pissed about that. Whatever. Uh, this is gonna open up at least a couple of future shops to us, because I've been rolling pretty terribly on the money situation so far. We're gonna go back down into our curse room. Not curse room. Uh, Self-sacrifice room. I'm down to two and a half hearts. Is not good, as uh, one might expect, but we're in an okay position now. So we can potentially pick up some items. All of the good items have seemingly already gone by in the shop. Probably looking at a, a future full of simply the notched axe. Uh, but, you know, I guess maybe like a ladder or something wouldn't be terrible. Uh, I gotta take out something in this room, basically. I think that dude just walked on the spikes and made my life a whole lot easier without actually actively meaning to do it, which I appreciate. Okay, the, those guys just killed themselves out of boredom after a while, which is nice. Uh, I hope that you guys don't do the same. That's a key that we can't get to. We could trade a bomb for it, but it's not worth it. Uh, this is worth it, though. Two bombs for three bombs. Pretty solid trade, all things considered. Celtic Cross, I don't really like... I like it more than the laser. I like Celtic Cross because it's a passive, but uh, I think I'm going to save a reroll for the potential of getting something better than Shoop to Whoop here as well. So we'll use a bomb here. Don't fuck this up. If one of these like seriously messes up, then we've uh, screwed ourselves out of uh, all of our bombs. It's a little bit of a high risk situation, I suppose. So we now have three bombs. We could trade one of those bombs for a key. Not totally necessary. We may have to, you know, confront a difficult decision about uh, re-rolling again in the very near future. It seems like it to me anyway. Free to open a nice path for us here. And good, we're good to go. We got two more bombs there as well. Now it's like bomb for a key seems like a smart trade, but I'm okay with our current situation. We did finally manage to pick up some extra red hearts. Pretty important, all things considered. Uh, don't really want to gamble. Would love to play the blood bank, but don't have the means to do so. I.e., I have no spirit hearts right now. Did I, I've passed up a deal with the devil, which does mean that a deal with the angel is actually a possibility. Uh, our second secret room must be above us. Oh no, it's to the side. I always that looked like a regular door to me. That is awesome. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna get it yet. I very nearly walked on it, but it's much smarter for me in this situation to just wait and uh, get that eternal heart when we're done with the floor. Otherwise, a single damage that I take would ruin that HP upgrade. Very silly decision. So I'm not rerolling yet because I was. Oh, this might have been a bad decision. I was going to say I'm not rerolling yet because I'm pretty sure the boss room is right around the corner. And if I have the potential to reroll a uh, a bad devil or a bad uh, angel room item, I would love to. Uh, because those give me the highest uh, highest possible reward. And, you know, I could always just ignore shooting the roof. So that would have been our eternal heart gone. But I obviously uh, opted against that. 
Probably will invest one bomb to get a nickel here. Turns out it would have been uh, smart for me to go back and reroll shoot the whoop. I hope that doesn't make a major impact on our run. The beauty of the D6 is that, um, you know, if you don't reroll something, you'll never know if you would have gotten something better or worse. So I can always hide behind that. Almost walked right into that. Most important thing, I think, is that we should, like, seriously try not to die on this floor. Okay, Judgment is something that I will invest a lot of money into. We have the Steam sale, so we can afford to go as low as seven cents. Okay, no, obviously we're gonna fight the boss and then figure out what the fuck we're gonna do with our uh, D6. Because obviously uh, there's a lot of items that potentially warrant a reroll here, depending on your personal preferences. My personal preference is that um, personal slot, a portable slot, like sucks total dick, so not that there's anything. I hate that sucking dick has a negative connotation associated with it. We should work as a society to um, change that perception, but, uh, you know, as is the, the parlance of our times, I think it's it sucks dick. I'm going to uh, put this here and slowly speed up the rate at which I am killing Gertie here. Uh, I'm taking a lot of damage, and it's been a very slow fight so far, which concerns me because the longer that this goes on, the, the more risk there is that I am going to die. To one of the bosses who is probably amongst the easier ones in the game. He's just like really tanky. Is the only downside here. Um, this is better, I guess. We'll put this bad boy in there and that'll blow him up. And he's down to like 10% health, so I probably should not die against Gertie. Uh, but I definitely do not necessarily think that my play here warrants a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel. Oh my god, come on. Destroy, thank you. And that extra heart is actually going to be very important. So that, this boss fight has clued me in into how uh, impotent my damage is. Uh, you know what, we'll take Squeezy. Squeezy's an okay item, and I can really use these. Uh, we will reroll portable slot for the fucking hourglass. Should really pick them up, take them out of the rotation, but I'm lazy and pissed off now. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go for the moon here, uh, and even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. So I'm gonna go to the blood bank and uh, play it three times. I didn't pick up the eternal heart. We're actually gonna play it five times now, but uh, I didn't pick up the eternal heart because the blood bank would have taken it, and that would have been stupid. But uh, this will give us some more money for the next two shops. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, uh, I, I was obviously hoping that we get the blood bag. Sadly, that didn't really work out. Uh, then we'll go pick up this eternal heart, and we'll go down to the next floor. Not very pleased with the way that this is going, but. We're not lost yet. Not totally lost, anyway. Uh, I really need to have a better performance on a boss fight so I could possibly earn myself a deal with the devil, pick up an item like a mom's knife that could carry me out of the doldrums here, but uh, for now, I'm at least uh, pretty survivable. Let's not be stupid. Let's, uh, I should have taken portable slot out of the equation as well, but uh, this is fine. So we missed out on our... Uh, we got something from the shop, but we missed out on our item room and we missed out on uh, judgment on this floor. Very disappointing. We're on Necropolis, and it's Curse of the Labyrinth. We have enough keys to go to every room that we want to go to, though, even if there is a library. Uh, so, scary floor, probably, but um, a floor that we should be able to deal with, assuming I don't get uh, murked by difficult enemies right off the bat. Obviously, I would love to get that half hard, but there's not much we can do about it. This is, like, my ideal room here. Should be easy enough to avoid, and as long as I don't get touched by them, I, I should be able to get out of the way of the bombs. We obviously need, uh, you know what, let's let's use the world card and let's plan where we're going to go here more effectively than usual. So the shop is pretty close, that'll be uh, priority number one. We only have one shop for the remainder of the game, that sucks, but as long as it contains something beautiful, or will contain something beautiful after a reroll, I'm happy with it. If we fight Greed again, you know, shit happens, I guess. We did pass up on some earlier shops that had good items in them. I don't think there's any way for me to pick up those items, though, so hopefully you understand. Uh, why I didn't. Now, uh, I thought I maybe could get out of there without taking damage. We're really gonna be in a bad spot once I lose these spirit hearts. I can't afford to not be at a good amount of health. It wasn't the blood bank's fault this time. I haven't been at a decent amount of health in a long time. Feels like it's been since the start of the run, basically. That was a very lucky dodge. I got a little too cocky and, uh, probably should have taken out the silkworm before I had to turn my back on him. Classic mistake. It's okay, though. One more left. A-OK. -okay. He'll go down, and uh, this is a moment of truth right now. The shop could be very important, or it could be terrible, but it could also be okay, because if Super Greed ends up actually uh, paying out with a quarter, which is totally possible, uh, we could then reroll the quarter. Oh, come on. All right, this is actually very tricky now. Um, we could reroll the quarter and make some good stuff happen with that. Hopefully some kind of full health item uh, selfishly to keep me alive for the near future. 
I can't believe we got greed and super greeted. But we did get like three good shops in the early game, so I guess that's what I get. Uh, hey, okay, he gave us the quarter. We're gonna reroll that. And the coin purse, we know that there is a full health pill, right? This could be the item that we need to, to save our lives. Or it could, you know, give us several health downs, but we'll see. Uh, white pill is range down. Not interested. Luck up. And full health. Okay, so we're gonna save our full health pill. Ooh, um... Again, that coin purse, not the best item, at least at first blush, but, uh, it's terrible. It may actually be, uh, what allows us to survive in the end. I should probably use the full health pill straight away, because if I get hit by one of these, uh, chub dudes, then I find myself, uh, deceased, because they do one full heart of damage, so it could be pretty foolish for me not to. We will, uh, try to use the poison bombs here to make our life a little bit easier. If we can aggro these, uh things close to the enemy. They can sometimes blow it up and just <laughs> eliminate the odds of a uh, bomb fly showing up at all. Of course, it's still a pretty tricky room. The Acropolis in general is a pretty tricky floor, isn't it? We're out, thankfully. Uh, and we are basically planning our route in order to get to the boss room as soon as possible. The real piss off about this uh, whole setup that we've got going on here is that... Well, thank God we had more bombs, otherwise I might just be trapped forever. But uh, the real piss off is that uh, there's no way, should have picked up Book of Shadows first, uh, but there's no way for us to get a deal with the devil unless we teleport out of the room somehow. Uh, so I have used the shovel card, that would be interesting, but also uh, incredibly foolish, I think. We'll take this and we'll leave. Uh, I guess that's why Dead Sea Scrolls is banned from uh, boilerplate, you know, like the Binding of Isaac Racing League, because it can occasionally give you the shovel, which maybe gives you a little bit of an unfair advantage over your opponents. So obviously I want to get to that Tinted Rock can't overstate that. Uh, we should have one bomb left when we leave this room. That's my estimation. We could probably use that to get to the secret room. Uh, cool. Two more speaker parts that might keep me alive a little bit longer. Beautiful. Okay, so actually we don't need to use our bomb to get to the secret room. That is uh, me being a big dingleberry. I really would love some orbitals. I feel like spiders are a great counter to the kind of run that I've produced right now. Uh, considering I have the D6, I think I really botched a lot of my opportunities with respect to getting better items, but there's a lot of money. Could have really used that on the, uh, earlier floors. Alright, flies, do your dirty work, please. There go those spirit hearts that I was so excited to pick up merely two rooms ago, but it's okay. Flies, please. Okay, flies, any, any second now you want to kill these other flies. I understand they're your brethren, that makes things a little bit complicated, but, uh, you know, just ask Avril Lavigne about that, and she'll give you some good advice that you should probably follow, because just get all your advice from Avril Lavigne. Uh, she, you know, most people know this, Avril Lavigne is uh, actually from my hometown, and uh, I don't begrudge her for leaving at all. So, we have a little bit more money here. We have another bomb for this Tinted Rock. Let's get some more Spirit Hearts that I'll inevitably lose straight away. We got a long uh, trip ahead of us, I suppose, if we want to get maximum number of rerolls, which we really do, because if we don't, uh, we're fucked. So, you know, Miter, that's a no-brainer. I'm going to pick that up. The real question is, you know, since the floor is so much stronger than us right now, how many rooms do we want to go to to, like, replenish our rerolls uh, when we might take a... We have to weigh, basically, the damage that I would take getting rerolls versus the benefit of the items. But I guess, you know, since the beneficial items are the only things that can kind of carry me out of the situation that I'm currently in, uh, it's probably a risk worth taking in all circumstances. But obviously the ideal situation for us is just get some uh, good items on the first try. An odd mushroom that is skinny is definitely one such item. So this is uh, increased rate of fire, slightly increased speed I think as well, and additionally uh, it's a damage down, but uh, it's worth picking up, in my opinion at least. Depends on your run I suppose. If you have mom's knife, maybe odd mushrooms, not the the style of item that you're really looking for, but uh, now we just look for some damage upgrades and life is good. Odd Mushroom and Sad Onion seem to have a nice little uh, synergy with Polyphemus where if one shows up, many show up. So that's our second secret room. Believe you me, if I could get my way into that second secret room and then walk out and bypass this room, I would in a heartbeat, uh, but we can't. So instead we'll just focus on hopefully killing one of these hearts and not getting hit, although I did just get hit twice. So, you know, not getting hit, getting hit twice, basically the same thing. Guppy's paw. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be interesting now. Fuck all of my red hearts forever. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take entirely spirit hearts. Then we're going to reroll Guppy's paw. And that's going to give us an item we can't take unless we get a deal with the devil. Because it's, it's a damage upgrade, uh, but it ruins our Polaroid invincibility. So I'm not going to take it. Uh, but I will probably scam the shit out of it with respect to... Oh my god. 
Probably should have taken out this room before I used Guppy's Paw. I've already lost like one heart container that I transmitted or transmuted, I guess. All right, well, here's a smart idea. Didn't work. I was gonna say we'll drop a bomb in here. We're gonna do it anyway because it'll give us these bombs. Okay, so I managed to kill, use two bombs, kill one heart, and not even unlock those other two bombs. That's pretty smooth play, I gotta say. MLG level uh, Isaac play. Uh, we've lost like six spirit hearts in this room. This is really embarrassing, but also, you know, now I really want to take that damage up. Oh, there's a nickel in there too. That's nice. Okay, so we're gonna go through one room. Uh, it's Loki. Should be a relatively easy boss fight. I hate the uh, spike, mostly because it serves as a shield for a little while, which is really frustrating. Uh, but we can kind of keep it away from us and uh, just blow up the bomb flies as they spawn, and everything else should be relatively easy to dodge, although I've been dodging terribly so far. That Gubby's Paw is actually really important. If only I'd gotten it a little bit later or not been... Uh, I shouldn't say not been so stupid about it, but, you know, it's been thought a little bit more critically about how to use it, because I should have saved it until we got to the boss fight at least. What if we get some more HP upgrades? Now I can't pick them up. We can re-roll it, I guess, which is a slight silver lining for this dark cloud. We Don't get me wrong, uh, the Gubby's Pod pickup actually puts us in a much better position than we were otherwise in. Let's try to get uh, this bomb fly to explode those rocks, ideally, because I can't otherwise get out of here. Uh, or I can't otherwise get into the Loki fight. He's going to teleport. Oh, he teleported into exactly the same spot. Okay. Uh, because of this damn spike shield, I can't even free him from this mortal coil. So, uh, oh my god, and then the spike hemmed me in there. Okay, you know what? I don't want to take that range upgrade. That should be obvious. Uh, but I also want to reroll the odd mushroom in the off chance that it's going to be an even better item, because a range upgrade is not really that bad in the whole scheme of things. Now, if we just keep these guys over here, then... Oh, actually, I can use the... Uh, totally forgot I could aggro the green guy and get his bombs to do the dirty work for me. That one's probably not going to work. It at least opened up that side of the map, though. I've been playing really badly today. This is like the third Isaac episode I've played today. I think I've got a little Isaac fatigue. I'm not making good decisions. So, there's our reroll. Uh, we will reroll Guppy's Paw. Or, as well, what was formerly Guppy's Paw is now uh, Odd Mushroom and then becomes the Pills, which maybe could be good, actually. Luck up, sure. Um. I, I do want to get another reroll charge. I, I don't necessarily care about that range upgrade. I can pick that up and be okay with it, but uh, I do want to get another reroll built up for the potential of getting something awesome from the secret room. Even an active item in this case, uh, I would be okay with picking up. Let's just go build up a reroll quickly. Of course, the negative here is that it's like these rooms are tough. I'm losing a lot of my very precious health. Uh, making this happen. That being said, this should be one of the easier rooms, so inevitably I, I will still take some damage, simply because I said that. Uh, actually, I'm, I might be very lucky and get out of this without uh, finding myself in a truly harrowing position. Quite nice. Red Heart I can't use, but that's okay. We got two more rooms to go, and um, you know, after this we'll probably forego our uh, reroll privileges, so we'll really hope that we get an awesome passive item or an awesome active item. Oh, fuck this. Fuck everything about this. Uh, luckily, they're out of range. Very, very slightly so. Um, that guy's gotta die, obviously. And then we come through here, and luckily the rest of these guys were not aggroed through uh, some grace of God. Get these guys aggroed again, I suppose. And then, you know, I am gonna use a bomb here. Oh, thank God that didn't knock it out of the way, because I do want to open this golden chest. That's a safety cap. Perfect time to get a trinket right before we go to fight the final boss. Well, not the final boss, obviously, but the final boss where trinkets actually matter, unless you have a very specific set of items. We didn't get hit there. We got a key, which is nice. And uh, now we're going to deal with the, one of the rooms from hell, obviously. Some of my least favorite enemies. Some enemies that can hit you, like, from across the map, which is uh, the most frustrating part. But we took out the... Oh, we took out one of the greed heads. Now we took out the gluttony. And uh, now this room doesn't look so awful. At least we've got free space to move around and maneuver. Okay, only two greed heads, one of which has to be nearly dead at this point. Ah, perfect. We killed them, like, exactly the same time. So we might as well take safety cap or liberty cap. Sorry, safety cap, liberty cap, get them confused all the time. And this is going to be our last little reroll spell, so I'm really hoping that this works out well for us. I... I if, if I could take odd mushroom damage up while also being able to use Guppy's Paw to then turn it into Spirit Hearts. I would definitely have done it, but he can't do that. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a weird situation we find ourselves in. Rainbow Baby's a totally okay upgrade. Uh, I'm not going to be able to reroll what I get from the mom fight. That's totally okay okay by me. Believe you me, I understand the, the right way to do things, and um, I, I'm letting my laziness prevail here. 
but that's okay with me. This is the first mom fight in like two videos where I haven't had blue candle, uh, which is unfortunate because obviously that makes the mom fight uh, a whole lot easier. Slowing effect from Rainbow Baby is nice as well. Uh, obviously, you know, our damage suffers pretty heavily right now, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to persevere regardless. I mean, we should be able to beat this fight. We have a ton of like raw HP at this point. Uh, it's just the fact that our damage is so fucking low. We really would love to snag a, or I really would love to snag it. It sounds weird when I say we in that situation. Like it was some kind of weird royal we, or I have like a split personality or dissociative personality disorder. I don't. Um, at least I, if I do, it's undiagnosed. Let's put it that way. I don't believe that I do. I don't believe that we do, I guess I should say. But, um, you know, I've got to find something to fill this dead air here as I take uh, 100 years to kill mom. Also, that don't let a psychiatrist hear what I just said there. Uh, but as time goes on, you know, I'm looking for potential outs for us on this run. One such out might be uh, if we are able to get a deal with the devil on the next floor. We could also get incredibly lucky with some rerolls on golden chests. Uh, we do have the keys necessary to open at least a couple, maybe. Depends how brave we want to be uh, and what we think our odds are of getting to the chest itself. I guess I'll just take damage there. There's nothing to do about that after I fuck myself in that corner. I'm saving the Empress card until, um... I absolutely have to use it, I guess. Oh, I just stood still until I the champ. Fucking worst... At least they gave me a spirit heart to compensate, but worst, uh... Guppy's paw I think I've ever used, and one of the worst mom fights I think I've had in a long time. Wound part one. Easier version of the floor. Our damage is still super not great. Can you even make a phrase that way? Super not great? It's like a superlative negative. Most likely to not be successful. Um, okay. In a mere moment here, we should be able to kill this guy. It's gonna make, uh, you know, the Isaac fight a real problem if I can barely kill Angel Fetuses one-on-one. -on -one, much less having a uh, enormous angry demon in the way. And that had to happen at some point, didn't it? Uh, I guess when you're... You only take... You only create flies with infestation when you take damage. Uh, which is unfortunate, because with permanent Polaroid invincibility, I could create, like, a huge fly army, I thought, just by running into enemies when I have permanent Polaroid invincibility active. But, uh, that obviously, as you can see right here, does not appear to be the case, does it? So, we got a bomb out of that. I'm expecting fully to see my spirit hearts very soon. And, at this point, it might have been better to just roll with the D6 instead. You know what? Let's we'll check this out first. I hadn't killed anybody in there. I'm gonna reroll Guppy's tail just because we can. I don't want Spelunker's hat. Uh, we can always come back to this area if we need uh, to reroll it in the future. Obviously, like I could have taken Guppy's tail and it might have been, might have actually been really worthwhile. But our keys are not good enough, and I really want a better uh, item than that to carry us through. That's another full health pill, which actually does nothing for us in this situation. Um, but uh, yeah, we we at least have one rerollable platform, which is nice, but also. Gears kind of like uh, unless it pays out with something amazing. I mean, these are kind of like our last hopes. It's been so long since I've had a run where I really did a lot of damage for a while. At least a few episodes. Uh, again, I miss I miss those odd mushroom polyphemus days. If I could just get both of those working together, I'd be a very happy man. Another spirit heart to compensate for the one that I lost. Feels good, uh, but at the same time, I think it's only delaying the inevitable unless we our hail mary pass actually comes through successfully here. I can't believe that on this run, I, that was the worst damage, by the way. I, and I'm playing badly. It's not just the random number generator fucking me. Not just the random number generator fucking me. Uh, but I can't believe I missed the map and the compass on this run. Simply due to, like, not having enough money in the shops, but having enough keys to see that I didn't have enough money. Sometimes, you know, what daddy don't know won't hurt him. And I kind of wish that we didn't have enough keys to go to the shop so that I didn't walk in there and see. I guess I didn't have to walk in because I didn't have the money anyway. Reroll Spelunker's hat. Kamikaze. You should probably pick that up and take it out of... You know, let's let's do that just so it doesn't show up again. Uh, beautiful. I guess we'll look for another reroll. Kamikaze's gone now, so, you know, like the worst item or second worst item in the game can't show up. Now that I've mentioned that, certainly Lemon Mishap will be the next item that pops up there. Uh, but maybe we'll give Fetus in a jar or Epic Fetus. Either of those items would, uh... Probably more or less guarantee me a win, although I'm noticing now that I am losing spirit hearts at kind of a, uh, an alarming rate. It's okay, we, uh, just hold out here 
and eventually will succeed uh, in either killing or dying. One of the two. I'm not necessarily picky at this point. I really, I apologize if I sound defeated already, or defeatist already, I guess, more accurately, but it is really frustrating when you get, you know, this far in the game, and your damage is still, like, pretty bad. Thank God we got Odd Mushroom. I know it's a damage down, but uh, it, it helps us up our DPS just by rate of fire, but uh, without that, like, we would be so terrible right now. Similarly, like, Brother Bobby and Rainbow Baby still, like, barely able to do any damage at all. Alright. Thank you, uh, little chub. If I could get you to, like, just eat one more bomb here, or at least just get hit by it, it's cool, too. I'm using bombs because I'm getting a little impatient here, but also the more time I spend on a room, the more likely I am to get hit uh, by the enemy on said room. So I think it's a smart idea. We picked up a spirit heart, and I didn't get hit on this room for once, at least not yet. Probably shouldn't have counted my chickens too early. But, uh, we have another reroll available. Smooth moves and good news. Um, we're, st we're at 11 and a half Spirit Hearts. It's not enough with our damage to carry us through the rest of the game. Hell, it's probably not even enough to carry us through one late game boss fight. Isaac or Blue Baby. All the other boss fights should be fairly easy, but I I've been wrong before. We reroll again and we get the Rosary. Which I'm gonna take just because it gives us more Spirit Hearts. And, uh, it's not like the Bible is gonna show up in a devil room. It's not like the Bible is going to show up in a shop, because there are no shops. I might as well just cash out for the HP at this point, I think, at least. Uh, watch me get a deal with the angel that then gives me the Bible here. It's certainly not outside the realm of possibility, but uh, never tell me the odds. So there's another reroll-ish platform there. Uh, this is a good one, because, you know, there's a lot of really good items we could potentially get from a, a secret room. Pyro is one of them. Uh, we could just start using bombs as if we had fetus in a jar. Uh, Dad's key obviously was right there. One up, Ankh. Mom's contact. Yeah, we might as well pop this open. You never know what you're gonna. Hey, golden key. That's kind of nice. We find some more good. Now I, of course, wish I took uh, Guppy's tail. But uh, you know, if you knew everything that was gonna drop in the binding device, you might as well just play seated mirror matches. Well, not mirror matches. But it's just because the only seated game I played was just snaps mirror match. But um, you might as well just play uh, in Spider Mod and like get a seed and figure out what's going on. The, the randomness and the hindsight is 2020 of Isaac is uh, half the fun in my opinion. I'm totally wasted bomb. Uh, we do have to deal with bosses like entirely here, so I, I am using all of my bombs to take out Chubb just because I'm again getting impatient, don't want to fight him. I can feel my like mental energy for this run slowly eroding, which is a shame because this Isaac usually is a lot of fun. But I mean, it's not that this run has not been fun. It's just been an uphill struggle, and I feel like I've rerolled a lot, uh, but I've still missed out on a lot of really good items. And I, I feel like, I guess the, the problem for me right now is that I feel like there's a really good run. It's kind of like waiting under the surface, but I just can't quite scratch off enough of the bullshit to get to it right now. That's an elegant analogy uh, for how I feel right now. So, we will explode this man, and uh, as Monstro the second dies here, not to be confused with Monstro 2, uh, we can be content in that we have finished this room without taking any damage, at least as far as I know. We did use all of our bombs to make it happen, which is not good, but we picked up a couple of spirit hearts. What a long floor. Like, I guess it's the other reason I, I dislike this uh, run so far, is that every room has taken us so fucking long. Okay, we can reroll our... Uh Shop, sorry, not shop, secret room here. It starts with an S, always get them confused. Bob's rotten head, uh, just blow something up, but why not, right? Uh, and if we get another D6 charge, then we'll use that. I kind of, I, I mean, I guess I might as well go to one more room just to get another D6 charge, and then we'll figure out whether we're gonna reroll uh, the room part one room, or we'll figure out whether we're gonna, or the boss room, or if we're gonna reroll the uh, secret room. Either way, you know, good things potentially await, just merely a spacebar click away. But we're not quite at the point where uh, I can see them yet. So, you know, we, we go through this in this way. I, I had to I back myself into a pretty shitty corner there. Uh, like, literally shitty, if that's what the creep is actually made of. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go to the... Oh, it's so bad. We'll go to the boss room right after this. And that'll build up our D6 charge. We'll see if we get deal with the devil. Maybe we want to go with Bob's right now. I'm not even sure if we can reroll White Pony, actually. Bob might be in our best interest to go with White Pony, and I'm gonna use the Empress card here because uh, I'm really worried about hemorrhaging a ton of damage here, uh, and, you know, I still might, but at least we'll finish the boss fight, like, three times as fast. Uh, and we're going up against Mom's Heart next, which should be an even easier boss fight than this. This is one of the harder boss fights. And, of course, I'm really hoping that uh, we get a deal with the devil out of this, or the world's greatest deal with the angel, which is unlikely since it's uh, totally probable that if we got a deal with the angel, the Bible would show up, which is not an item that I am looking for right now. I'd much rather have the white pony and the ability to fly as a result. Not passively, but also it wouldn't be like once every three rooms. 
Um, okay, uh, a couple more hits. One maybe even. Oh, come on. No deal with the angel. We'll take the white po oh, Well, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to reroll the other item. Then we'll take the white pony out of here because I don't think I'm going to live long enough to get down to the chest if I continue living the way I'm living. Oh, good, we got a one-up. That'll respawn me with like three spirit hearts or something. And we'll take the white pony and maybe this will allow us to survive, although I sincerely doubt it. If we beat Mom's Heart, it's a semi-successful run at the very least. Found a secret room right off the bat. Watch it be like, yeah, a, a re-rollable item or something like that. Thankfully, it wasn't. Uh, just gonna use the white pony's active effect. Hopefully, I can start a chain reaction here, more or less. Uh, I feel a lot better now. We're, we're going fast. That's really nice. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we have the pony's active effect, which we'll be able to use once every six rooms, which is not a staggering uh, amount of goodness coming as a result of that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a welcome addition. Would we have gotten this far if we didn't use Guppy's Paw? That's the question I guess that I'll leave up to the commenters. So, uh, Mom's Hard Boss Fight. Get into the, th the cathedral. Battle victory in and of, in and of itself, but um, certainly, uh, you know, it, it's not what I wanted. It's not why I started the size of run. I didn't start the size of run to be like, well, if we get to Mom's Heart, we'll be happy. I started it to, to beat uh, Blue Baby and, uh, you know, maybe have one successful run today. This is going to be the third unsuccessful. Well, it depends on your definition of success, I guess. It's going to be the third uh, unsuccessful run in a row for me today, and that uh, really takes it out of you. Especially on this one, uh, where I never really felt like, uh, over the course of this entire run, like we even had a chance, so... Maybe I am being a little bit overly harsh on the game, though. You can tell we're going slow, always on the Mom's Heart boss fight when they give you lasers for the second time. There's not much we can really do to speed it up. Zombies are going to spawn next. Uh, we don't even have the uh, pony's active effect, so... I mean, I can barely even hit these guys just by running into them. It's one of the weird runs where uh, you just don't get, like, any orbitals at all. That happens so rarely uh, that it's always disappointing when it does. But, you know, as you can see, every time Mom's Heart ducks out here, I am able to do, you know, roughly 1-2% to damage. So we should be done with this fight in 20 minutes, somewhere around there. Duke of Flies, totally easy boss fight. We don't even get an item for this one. So this is the amount of damage that we're going to be doing to Isaac, except imagine, uh, you know, an enemy with, like, twice the HP. Not twice the HP. I'm not sure how Isaac stacks up HP-wise with, uh, with Mom's Heart. Mom's Heart's relatively tanky. Uh, but, you know, normally Chubb is where I like to be, like, done with the boss fight. Uh, the Mom's Heart fight. We're not even halfway. This is a fucking war of attrition, man. This is a really annoying run. I'm trying to think of where I could have, uh, done differently. I guess not taking so much damage against the bosses would have helped me out a great deal. Because then I, I would have more likely secured deals with the devil. I, like, at, at this point, I want to hurt myself on this boss so that I get more flies, because the flies are what is actually allowing me to do damage. And you can see this. Sustained uh, chub. That is not the proper phrasing there. Uh, sustained fire on chub is putting me in, like, a really terrible position where it still took, like, 45 seconds to kill him as if he was, like, an actual boss. This is, like, fighting uh, Mom's Heart the first time I fought Mom's Heart, and I was like, whoa, it's like Mega Man, you have to fight every boss in quick succession? Well, yes. Yes and no, I guess, because it's, you know, typically a lot easier than you found those boss fights in the early game. Uh, but in this case, fuck me, it's taking forever here. It's like the third time we've seen these, uh, little nubs. Uh, please fly, do some damage here. The second time we're fighting Duke with flies. Uh, at some point, Mom's Heart is going to continuously fire bombs. That's going to be our brief respite from the mundanity and uh, dull drummery of uh, our current existence. Did we get no damage upgrades over the... <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm walking into you, Chubb. I'm sorry. I need to get these flies to come out. And I can't believe that the flies don't come out if you don't take damage. I still need to commit, because again, beating Mom's Heart is like bare minimum that I'll feel happy about at this point, but we have no future on this run, especially given that there's no other items for us to come. If we pull out any kind of victory here, it will be a, a marked success, don't get me wrong. Just gonna hang out near Chubb here, and uh, eventually, if you slow down his midsection, his body should pull apart, because they're moving in like opposite speeds, or di differential speeds, uh, and he should just die instantly. That's my philosophy. Zombies for the 19th time. Once this is a, we really only do like maybe 4% of mom's uh, total health each pass. That is infuriating. But a couple more of these should be enough. Okay, if only we had the battery at this point. You know, we may actually be getting to the point where um, this approaches maybe the longest mom's heart fight I've ever had. 
I certainly cannot remember a situation where I fought Duke of Flies three times. I'm just gonna scratch my head here, kind of dumbfoundedly, as I uh, hold down the left button and wait for this fight to end. Uh, hopefully, without actually getting hit myself, I say as I get hit myself. We barely, with 11 and a half hearts, we're barely gonna make it up to the cathedral. Part of that is because I, part of that is because I dodged offensively, basically my way of saying I took damage intentionally. Uh, deal with the angel room still doesn't contain anything. Cool, we're on the cathedral. Let's, um, figure out how this run ends. Well, first things first. Uh, okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. Just to save our ass a little bit. Pop the unicorn horn. Run into these guys. Still not generating flies, which I think is real silly. But, uh, in this way, should have put ourselves in a position where it's more likely for me to kill this room without taking a staggering amount of damage myself. In fact, Unicorn Horn is uh, an item that maybe even would be better than the White Pony in this case, but uh, I can't pass up the ability to fly. Forgot that we had a 1-up, too. That's going to be interesting. Pretty sure we're just going to find ourselves uh, totally fucked. I don't even have any bombs. Like, if I could bomb my way through these rooms, life would be easier. But it's not, so I can't. Or I can't, so it's not. Dude, it, help me help you, flies. This is like a... I might even be below Isaac's base damage right now. I don't think we got a tears upgrade over the course of the game, except for the Odd Mushroom. Got a couple range upgrades, though. Uh, what is in our mob trap room? Uh, probably nothing of value. Uh, cool, this, this is a room I can handle. Watch me die on this room. Uh, these guys have very low HP, so I can just do this and take them out. Only getting hit once, which actually feels like surprisingly like a boon. Uh, if I could just get these guys, like, lined up, I would love to, so I don't waste the pony's active effect. Oh, it's only the second time I've had the pony's active effect. Oh, just run through the room. See you later. Uh, we have our second secret room, which contains a slot machine. I guess we'll play the bejesus out of this, because it's our only chance for success. We have a lot of luck. Uh, sure, blue baby soul. Watch me, like, pick up the pick by accident or something. It's so frustrating. Um, I, I have to, like, in, to stay in good conscience, I have to play this until it runs out. Like, I, I, I have to try to get some spirit hearts or an item or something. I kind of wish I hadn't even come up here, to be honest with you. So we're about a quarter of the way through my stack. Hopefully soon. Oh, we got Crystal Ball. Okay, Crystal Ball gives us a spirit heart. Oh, it gives us a tarot card. Um, I would kill myself to get a uh, deal with the devil. How does this work? I'm just trying to think about this. If we take Ouija board and Guppy's head, um... Okay. You know, honestly, Guppy's head, I think, is a lot better for us in this situation. I know that sounds weird, but to have, like, guaranteed flies on every room seems a lot better. But it's all for naught. Like, one more hit and I get killed anyway, so, um, let's try this out. What a weird and muted and not great and, uh, not even really all that much fun run. It was kind of interesting, I guess, mechanically, but... Fuck that. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I promise I'll try to do better next time. Uh, my hands were a little bit tied there. But again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you tomorrow with a new one.